Molded connectors typically refer to an overmolding process at the factory when the cable connector is made that joins a connector to the cable. Molded connectors come in a wide range of styles and configurations. So perhaps the best way to get familiar with molded cable technology is to review a few examples with you. These molded connectors are all straight types, but most are also available in 90 degree configurations. Most of these connectors are PVC jacketed, but are also available in either rubber high temperature silicone, thermoplastic elastomers, or polyurethane to handle difficult environments such as those involving chemicals, moisture, or where the cable must flex repeatedly without wearing out prematurely. Molded connectors are available either as single-ended, one connector and cable, or double-ended, connectors at both ends of the cable, and standard lengths of cable such as three or six feet. However, some manufacturers offer custom lengths, so you don't have a situation with a lot of excess cable that has to be dressed or dealt with otherwise. This is a double-ended mini-link molded connector with three poles, which means it has three conductors. This connector features heavy-duty cables, as you might find on robotic equipment or automated assembly equipment, where there's a potential for a lot of stress or abuse and where the cable must be flexible. This is a microlink connector, often called an M12 connector, with five poles. However, most micro-style connectors are available in many circuit options. Microlink connectors are built to NEMA 6P and IP67 standards to stand up to moisture. You often find these connectors on industrial sensors, limit switches, hydraulic and pneumatic valves, solenoids, and actuators. These are samples of an M12 Etherlink connector and cable with an RJ45 connector. The M12 designation is a standard that refers to circular connectors having 12 millimeter diameter locking threads. These connectors are often used for sensor cabling in factories with harsh environments. Inside the connector, there is decoding, another industry standard that refers to a style of keying for making sure the right connections get mated when the cable is attached to its sensor or termination box. These cables are durable and have a good reputation for standing up to a lot of vibration, flexing, oil laying around, and so forth. Similarly, the RJ45 molded connector and cable assembly is designed for 8-pin Ethernet connections where TPE cable shields against EMC interference. This is a 4-pole, 8mm PicoLink molded connector, which is often used where there are tight spaces or where you need to accommodate a lot of connections in a small space. Distribution boxes are another connection method you often find in situations where space is at a premium. They consolidate multiple connections into a base unit. This particular unit has eight ports and works with 18 millimeter connectors, but these boxes also handle eight millimeter and 12 millimeter connectors, and they can consolidate up to 12 connections. They're often applied with proximity sensors, limit switches, solenoids, and miniature controls, and eliminate the need for knockouts and terminal strips and the possible wiring errors that can arise with connections to them. One last style we'll touch on is called a mini attachable connector. These are most often used in the field when the situation is such that you can't tell in advance how long a cable is required. To install in the field, you thread the cable through the body and strip a short length of wire that gets cinched down into the connection. Then you assemble a connector body around the connection. Now, these are only a few examples of what's available in molded connectors, but hopefully they've been helpful in giving you a feel for what's available for manufacturers. For more videos like this, visit designworldonline.com.